Good morning, everybody. I got my cup of tea. We're gonna be going to the dock this morning. I'm trying to leave kind of early because it looks like it's gonna be a little rainy out. So we're gonna try to beat the weather. Yeah. So we're up, at, up early in the morning to go and get that done. Every so often you have to haul your boat out um, with a wood boat you want to do it every year or two years depending on what kind of bottom you have. Um, we've got a solid copper metal bottom so we're usually okay for about two years and then we want to haul out and check for any kind of corrosion. Usually there's some corrosion on the water line, the salt on the copper and it just kind of creates little bubbles with the current that goes through and that just corrodes that water line and you're just scraping. And uh, you're getting itchy because all these little squiggly shrimp, things, squiggly worms that get all over you when you're trying to clean the bottom. These things are gross. A lot of guys wear dive suits. But anyways, Pete's gonna Pete's gonna start the motor. So what are we waiting on? The motor to come to temperature? Yeah, might as well let it warm up before we head out. That's a good idea. There we go, just untie that one line. No, the other line, Layla. So this in the back dodger so that we can, when we steer, we can see. Okay, here we go, I gotta go untie the line. Excuse me, Layla. So I'm gonna let this line go. And then I'm gonna pull the other end in, and that's gonna let go of the mooring ball. Let that go, pull that in, and bring the line in. Pete didn't clean the prop, so I don't have any power. That's not very good for the engine. Should we go back and clean the prop? You can't hear me. That's another thing sometimes when you're doing this kind of stuff. Sometimes people pretend like they can't hear you too. We didn't uh, clean the prop. Um, it's not good for the engine, um, so we're just gonna take it real slow and easy. So we're motoring along and not moving. So we're either gonna have to anchor. Um, Get that anchor ready. And then Pete can dive in and clean that prop. We're going with the current, so it could do like a really easy drift down the river. Um, and just not really use the engine until we get down the river. Uh, things you gotta remember when you're moving, man. <laughs> what do you think, Layla? He's getting the emergency anchor ready. <laughs> we might have to actually emergency anchor. I gotta make sure we don't drift or anything. So there's the lighthouse. Gotta remember when I'm right by the mast that the lighthouse is right there. While Pete's scrubbing the bottom, I wanted to show you our lovely depth sounder. It goes to the bottom, and it also can pick up whatever substance is on the bottom, which we never do. This second knot, or in between these two knots, is the depth of our boat. And each knot after that is a fathom, or six feet. Meanwhile, while Pete is scrubbing the propeller, I thought I'd show you the bus. Pete is putting phospho here, and we repaired any kind of rust on the bottom of the doors with some fiberglass. And that green stuff is zinc chromate, which is kind of like a uh, primer before you paint over bare metal. Um, that's a typical rust spot that we also fiberglassed. That's some foam and fiberglass that's going to also be for the pop top. So there's the, an old pop top that we got. That's another rust spot. Pete's ospoing also any of the bare metal. There's our bumpers. Getting ready to sand here. And this 
is a little wood burner I want to put in the bus as well, a little tiny tot. And this will be the propane stove. Bumpers are out. Lines are pulled to the middle so that I can just grab both lines and jump onto the dock. We're going against... Knows the difference going this way. And the only thing I have to worry about is our yard arm sticks out. So we got to make sure there's no pilings or anything that's going to catch our lines that stick out. Right, Leila? While we're motoring down the river, this is Pete spraying the bus down, getting all the dust off. Then we started to tape it all off to get ready for primer. And... Got to the dock just in time, it started raining. visit papersailor.com to learn more about my book, Accidental Sailor Girl.